I've been loving it and welcome to another travel vlog. Hey, I am traveling alone to Cusco to see the Machu Picchu. I have a limited time here in Peru. I decided to go back to Lima to take a flight to Cusco. It will probably take me about an hour and a half to one hour and 15 minutes to get to Cusco from Lima. difficult to breathe <laughs> like I have to count one two three breathe inhale exhale inhale exhale I don't know if you can notice that I'm also having a hard time to talk so In every travel vlog, there is always a room. I have two queen size beds, open closet, private bathroom. This is the shower. I am running out of breath. When I did my research and watch YouTube videos, it didn't give me the satisfaction that I want. Satisfaction that I want. That's why I asked my friend for help. Everything, like all of the information that I need immediately. If you want like luxury, if you want like backpacking, basically what kind of traveling you want to have when you're here in Peru. I'm gonna put her website link below so you guys can like talk to each other. Hi, today is my second day here in Cusco and I did a little bit of exploring of the old town. Tomorrow I will be checking out of my room and go to Aguas Calientes. Sometimes people think that Machu Picchu is already in Cusco. No, there are different ways to get to Machu Picchu. Number one is hiking. Some people do it by bus and train. There are a lot of ways to get to Machu Picchu. As for me, I'm doing the easiest one and also the most expensive one. If you don't like trekking or you can't trek, I would recommend for you guys to take the bus from Cusco and then the train and then the bus again from Aguas Calientes. Everything that I paid for is $600 to $700. Since Machu Picchu is my dream ever since college, I decided to go for the Inca Inca Rail. I'm gonna leave my luggage here in my hotel in Cusco. By the way, do not forget to bring your passport when you go to Machu Picchu. Let's get with the packing. <laughs> the 
these are the stuff that I will be bringing. A poncho and a beanie. This is a must to have when you're visiting Machu Picchu. The clothes that I will be wearing, complete like with the undies as well. Toiletries that I will be bringing. It's not that much, only like shampoo, conditioner, and toothbrush. Wet wipes mask i always bring this with me this is an adapter so that i can easily transfer it to my iphone because i just basically edit all of my photos on my iphone vlogging camera Dita needs a mosquito repellent i badly need this because mosquitoes they love to eat me a moisturizer and i keep it in a small container like this for travel size a power bank what is this lotion always hydrate your body a cup noodles just in case I get cold and hungry and some snacks that I will be bringing along the way. I'm not sure if I'll be bringing my facial wash, facial sunscreen. I always use a facial sunscreen. Some meds just in case. Hopefully, I won't get sick. A fanny pack for all the things that are important. And also an ego bag. So basically, I have like three bags. All right, I'm going to sleep now. I love you all. Good night. And I am off. To Aguas Calientes. Okay, I will only be staying for one night in Aguas Calientes, and these are the stuff that I brought with me. It's like maybe 10, 12 kilos. Sorry if I feel like I'm like running out of breath. It's just like so hard to breathe here. <sighs> okay. Before I go to Machu Picchu, I had to withdraw money in this bank, it's called BCP. This bank has the lowest transaction rate, which is 13.5 soles. In other banks, it's like 20 soles and above. So if you're gonna go to Peru, go check this bank out. Also, like you can do money changers. The good thing about changing money here in Peru is that the rates are actually similar if you Google the rate. All right, here we go. So where do you bring this this train tickets? Where did I bring? Mm -hmm. Or I did I buy a travel agency? Uh, See probably. from Cusco to Oriente Tambo. Okay. This is the address, the principal avenue. Do you know? No. Is it near? Uh, for here, ten minutes by walk. Ten minutes yeah. by walk. So I went to the wrong Inca Rail office. Make sure to double check your ticket because as for me, I'm just asking my friend who owns the tour company which way I should go. So check your tickets please because I almost missed my bus or almost missed my check-in time. <laughs> Olan Lai Tambo Station. This is the waiting area before we get to the train later. Train number 65 has already arrived and that's my train number. Now we're just walking towards the railway. There are some shops where you can buy food, drinks. I was just 
just like super excited. And all of a sudden, I have to line up. <laughs> Luckily, the train is not full. So, I have this spot all to myself. It's all to myself. There's also a lot of empty seats. And there you have a seat. Okay, this is a It's going to be me tomorrow. Mm -mm. I'm trying to find my hotel. Yes, see? Averia? Si. Hola. Todo bien? Gracias. Ah, si. Gracias, señor. Richard, ya, una persona. Oh, wow. There's a market right outside of the train station. More shopping, I guess. But not for me. Wait. Okay. I think I'm gonna take that back. Restaurant. Good? Muy bien? Recommendation. The Angel Feliz. Angel Feliz. Okay. Would you like to picture? Take picture? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, see. Sí. All right, we're in my hotel. Hello, welcome uh, to Tierra Vida. Pasaporte? Si, sí, uh, sí. Habla español o uh, preferido uh, uh, inglés? English, no hablo español. Only un poquito. Remember. So, welcome to Tierra Vida. Please, could you help me with this? I just need a hat to come see the room. It's a little week. Okay. In the second floor by the same salida, there is a business center with computers. Okay. If you need to get this, I'm happy to see if you need to get it. Finally checked in. This is my room. I'll give you guys a quick room tour. This is what it looks like. I got a queen size bed. Um, don't mind the bra. I have like a table right here. Let me see the view. Um, there's no view. <laughs> Hero is out. The lady at the reception gave me a map of the restaurants I should check out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm having a hard time again to breathe. But it's drizzling right now. Uh, may kinakasal atang sirena. These are the coca leaves. Eh, quanto? Quanto? These are the coca leaves. A dos soles? Ah, oh, okay. This is the central area. Yay! Whenever you travel in Peru, there's always a plaza. Like this one. It's like in every block, actually. 
I'm in the central plaza of Aguascalientes. Hola, una persona. Pasa por favor. ¿Viste? Muchas gracias. Serví. Oh. Mucho. This is what I got. Chicken mushroom. It comes with chips, arroz. The food was not that great and overpriced, although the service is perfecto. I don't know if I would recommend for you guys to eat there. So now I'm just walking around the downtown area. This is actually where the trains are parked. Oh my gosh, look at that smoke. Do you guys see that? What the heck? Hola, buenos dias everyone. <laughs> Today is November 21st, 2019. And I couldn't sleep last night because I'm so excited for this day to come. Just waiting for my tour guide right now. Um, the call time is around 6 to 6.15 a.m. I'm here at 5.50. It's already like 6.05. I'm not gonna complain because today is a beautiful day. Actually, today's weather forecast says that it's going to rain most likely in two hours. Last night I was like praying so hard that oh my gosh, please don't rain, please don't rain because I traveled all the way from the Philippines and I waited for this day to finally come. Hello, what is your name? Ronnie. Ronnie, hi Ronnie, I'm Abe. Nice to meet you, Abe. Nice to meet you. The line to ride the bus. It's pretty long, huh? <laughs> What is this? It goes all the way down and there's still more people all the way up to there. If your bus leaves at 7 a.m., fall in line at like before 6 a.m. because most likely this will happen to you. It can get a little bit hot right now but it's always better if you bring a jacket like this. I also have like a sleeveless inside so that I can just easily remove it once I reach Machu Picchu or when it gets pretty hot. Just a reminder that there's a lot of mosquitoes here so make sure to bring a mosquito repellent with you. Alright, we are moving! Yay! Gracias! I got the best seat in the house! Shotgun. This is my view so that I can take videos for you guys. <laughs> See what it's like. Off to Machu Picchu we go. Before entering Machu Picchu, I'm gonna go to the toilet because Ronnie said there's no toilets inside Machu Picchu. That's true. <laughs> 
Oh, you have to pay two soles. Yeah. Okay. So you can have your passport stamped here. It's just right beside the banyo. So, and it's for free. I only have this passport for a year and a half now. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I got a Machu Picchu stamp. <laughs> All right, so now I'm in line to enter Machu Picchu. Um, you need your passport and your entrance tickets printed with you. I know I'm trying to do paperless, but here you have to print your tickets. They're still a little bit old school considering they have like QR codes. So. Almost there, but it's getting foggy. No, please. Oh my gosh. I'm in the city of Machu Picchu, you guys. <laughs> okay, so this is the first spot to my poncho that I got in Cusco so that it's cute in photos. You know, climbing up the stairs is not that bad. What's annoying is that the altitude. That's why it's harder for me to breathe. Whew. <laughs> Amazing! Wow! Oh, llama! No, llama. <laughs> That's Big llama, right? Which one is the best spot there? Yeah, we're going. Yeah, that way, a stripe in that corner, and also the best one in the upper part. Okay, so where do you think is. Should we go first? Let's go. There. Okay. There's a lot of spots where you can take photos, but there's a catch. <laughs> there's a lot of people. So, it's like a, what do you call this? Uh, it's like a game here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so these are all the original stones, huh? Everything. 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 Oh my gosh. Everything. Five hundred years ago. And also this way, or I mean this oh, trail. This path? This path here, which is coming from Cusco over the 120 kilometers. Oh wow. And this is the famous Inca trail that takes four days and yep. three nights. I can't imagine how people manage to carry all of this all the way to the top. And um, Ronnie said that actually the reason why they built Machu Picchu, they want to escape with the Spaniards because the Spaniards kills the Incas. They come up with a solution of building a city which is in Machu Picchu so that the Spaniards won't be able to see them because it's hidden in the jungle. Sorry guys, it's so hard to vlog and I climb up the stairs. They are so smart. <laughs> Can you guys imagine like people living here? It's really beautiful. Muy hermosa. <laughs> like me. Like me. <laughs> I have to know because hermosa, you know. <laughs> also, these are the stairs. Yeah. Okay, so that's how they climb. Yeah. <sighs> For the next terraces, because we are in an ancient place where they used to practice their culture right here. Oh, okay. For the resources of the population who are living in the in the urban sector where we are going. Okay. Like, how many people lived here? According to the number of the houses in Machu Picchu, there are 178 houses. Okay. So five or six hundred people were living there in highest conditions in the 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th century simultaneously with the Spaniards, but they were hiding here. Okay. In the middle of the jungle. Yeah. Ronnie also mentioned that there's an archaeologist, an American archaeologist, in 1911 trying to find Machu Picchu. Um, he spent like two months with other doctors, with other students from Yale, 
is it Yale University? Yeah. Imagine in 1911, of course, they have to consider that there are, uh, what do you call this, like tribes? Tribes. That there are tribes. There, the ca cannibalists. Cannibalist tribes. Surviving in the jungle yeah. without food. So that's, that's scary. Also, at the same time, the insects, the animals. There's a nice spot for Instagram, that's why there's a lot of people who's falling in line for the gram. I all, I'm also one of them. I think I waited for about 5-10 minutes. It's not that bad. So, here's the photo. That's the Instagram spot where everyone's like falling in line. What? Yeah, look oh, first, yeah. Yo. The forehead, the eye, the nose, the mouth, and the chin. It's leaping, look in the sky. Oh no, and yes. You see the city's cheek. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, the way the beauty is I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is the nose, this is the eyes, the city is the cheeks, and this is the chin. The most that the <laughs> yeah, this is the mouth. They have a really like, no, not big like a, like sharp. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. just like Peruvians. You yeah, guys exactly. have sharp nose. And also the big nose, like the Peruvians nowadays. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> it's not big. Stay right here. Then I will go like this. Okay. And you go behind me. Okay. The next place. So you will appear into place. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> One second. Okay, now you can go. Yeah. <laughs> I will show. You said it to me. I don't know if they can see it though. But then, then, then you will show it. Yeah. Bye bye. Wow, that's very really much a picture. <laughs> Come here, you, you know dance, you dance. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's touristical. That place. It takes one hour to walk up and one hour to get down. Yeah. With a reservation of three or four months. You have to know. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah, you can do it. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. So the river. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Let's take some of it. Yeah. Ralph is like sick of us taking pictures. Like this, but where you can stand your faces. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Gracias. good Gracias. You take nice photos. Of course. High five. <laughs> wow. That's the Huayna Pichu Mountain. Exactly. Over there. And you have to reserve for months. How many exactly. Months? Maybe three, bed three or months. four. Yeah, yeah, three months just to get there because only 400 people you a day them. can visit that one. So Machu Picchu is open every day. Machu Picchu City is open every day, which is includes the classical picture where we are here. Okay. But that mountain, that beautiful mountain where there are a, a small city on the top, which yeah. is a really crazy place to visit, mm -hmm. this is a, better to make a reservation of three or four months. So many informations. <laughs> <laughs> I found out about Machu Picchu when I was in college, when I was in the university. And then I was like, what? where is is that I want to go there and then I was like I said it jokingly because my professor said oh that's really far and it's hard to go there blah 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 it's like interesting I will go there one day but like just jokingly and then all of a sudden like I'm here <laughs> Oh, it's so nice because when when I learned about this, it's like on poquito information. Yeah, I, but now yeah. he's giving me a lot of infos, which is for me, I find it very interesting. There are a lot of cool, cool you're seeing, cool yeah. things about it. Yeah. For example, the face there that a lot of people yeah, the come I didn't here, know. but nobody <laughs> realized that. about that thing. Mm. Yeah. How the ancient Inca astronomers were studying perfectly the movements of the sun. Oh. We are going to visit those. Uh, okay. You gotta be careful when you walk down because the steps are not even. This way, this is called the Inca Trail, which is coming from Cusco, and it's going 
mean at Machu Picchu, at the only entrance of Machu Picchu, which is called also the Sun Gates, mm. but it's the um, this famous trail that some people take in four days and three nights walking on the mountains, over than 120 kilometers. Wow. And also it's without reservation. Mm. Okay, so there's a line now, and some people are taking photos over there. So now we're about to enter the city, right? Yeah, the only one. Yeah. The ancient only one. Because that was like a fortress. You see a big wall going yeah. around the city. See? And the city of Machu Picchu is on the top of the mountain. Okay, so it's a fortress. I yeah. see. Oh, wow. Look at the line. <laughs> That's quite a line, huh? I am about to enter the ancient city of Machu Picchu. Oh. <laughs> I'm here! <laughs> Look at the rocks! How are they able to carry all of this? All up in the mountain. There's no technology before and how were they able to carry this all the way up to this mountain? So Machu Picchu is actually called the navel of the world. It's like, you know, so, so Machu Picchu, it was a really important place of the ancient Inca Empire. Mm. The kings used to live here, mm. Machu Picchu, and also in Cusco, the city. Okay. <laughs> the organization in two parts: it's the urban sector where we are here, mm -hmm. and the agricultural sector in that side. And they were working the potatoes, the corn, yeah. kiwi, quinoa, maca, the seeds. Oh, so now we're at the main square. Exactly. The plaza. <laughs> so that's called the principal temple where the ancient religious rituals used to happen over that rock. Oh, okay, yeah. so a lot of people yeah. died there. So they put the hearts in the like the holes there? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is yeah, if you a compass. Get here, it's compass, you will see this rock was worked to be the north, the side, okay. the south. Okay, so this one is south. Yeah. Okay, that used to be the compass. Yeah, it's a compass. It's just a rock. Look at this. No, I need so to size. <laughs> What? It's like a puzzle. <laughs> Very important this angle to have mm -hmm. because these rocks can't move to the right oh, in the, at the air yeah. Yeah. And also That's smart. Things. When they were taking up the rocks, they were using they, they these using this. Exactly. Oh, okay. They used to study about the shades of the sun, when the sun used to appear in the north and in the south. -east. Oh wow, that, that is so days. smart. So the winter solstice and the summer solstice. Yeah, that is so smart. I'm quite lucky because you only get to visit the pyramids from 7 until 10 a.m. <laughs> I brought a snack with me. I'm hungry. How long have we been here? Me? Who? No, no, here, us. Uh, two hours and a half. Okay, yeah. that's a long time. Yeah. So when you go here, bring some snacks, some light snacks. So there are two of them carved fillers with water in only one window as you can see in that mm. side. So what happens when the sun is in the north, it's the winter mm. solstice, the summer solstice. Oh, yeah. so this is the winter. the winter. So if there's light here, yeah. it's winter time. And if there's the, light there, the it's summer. summer. Exactly. I see. Once you see this tree, you cannot go back here. This is the exit area. So there's only one entrance, which is over there. And there's one exit. Which makes sense. Bye bye Machu Picchu. So now I'm gonna take the bus again back to Aguas Calientes. If you guys are wondering how much the bus ticket costs, it costs 24 US dollars back and forth. But if you hola. just wanna go, hola, hola, buenos días. Hola, muy bien. 
the easiest trail is if you go to Aguas Polientes, stay there overnight, leave the next day for, for Machu Picchu. The trek will take you about two to three hours. For the bus, it's only like 15 or 20 minutes. That is why. Ah, una persona. No, no, presidente Burreina. Ah, de? Sí, mira también, mira room but here's the thing I need to leave within like 10 15 minutes because I was supposed to check out an hour ago I didn't know that the checkout time was actually 10 in the morning it's already 11 a.m. so luckily the lady was so sweet she's giving me 10 minutes to pack everything but I'm exhausted I want to shower so Okay, I'm gonna stop vlogging and catch you guys later. I get to shower within 10, well, body shower within 10 minutes. It's currently 11.20 in the morning and I still have a little bit of time like to just chill and eat because my train won't leave until 2.30. So I have to be at the train station within 2 p.m. Heading back to Cusco. back here in my hostel in Cusco. I actually got back yesterday but I fell asleep at around 7 in the evening. So that was great. I really needed that sleep because right before I go to Machu Picchu, I think I only had 2 hours of sleep. I've been editing this travel vlog for 13 hours now. <laughs> And this is quite a long one. I'm more inspired to edit the travel vlog right after the trip. If I wait for too long, I probably most likely won't be editing that. Anyway, I hope you guys like this solo travel to Machu Picchu travel vlog. How I get to Machu Picchu. How I solo travel to Machu Picchu travel vlog. I don't know what the title is yet. It is one of my dream destinations to visit. Like what I said earlier in this vlog, I found out Machu Picchu when I was studying in the university. I told myself that I want to visit there one day. And it came true because of you guys. You guys support me in all my travel by watching my travel vlogs and honestly I spend my money that I get from YouTube to make travel vlogs because a lot of you guys might not have the time the privilege or you're too young you're still studying or not enough money dealing with a sickness right now or just scared to go outside and see the world I'm happy that I get to show you these places that I visited through my travel vlogs so seeing one of my dream destinations is really like fulfilling for me and buying luxury brands gadgets doesn't really attract me well i tried i tried to buy one luxury bag but then you know what happened it broke on me traveling is really for me and i feel like i have a purpose when i made my first travel vlog it's not just for me but it's also for you guys i also want you guys to experience it somehow the places that i visited so yeah thank you all if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up share it to your friends share it to your family 181,000 subscribers now i do hope we get to 200,000 soon road to 200k please I would really appreciate if you guys can share my YouTube channel to your friends, to your family. And I also hope that my travel vlogs inspires you to get yourself out there, to travel while you're young and healthy, to never stop doing
doing what you love and to not give up in achieving your dreams so no matter how big or small it is or scary you might think it is push yourself to achieve that dream thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next travel vlog bye see you in secret i'm flying somewhere else new